Hey girl and welcome back to my channel. It is me Chloe Yasmin and in today's video I am going to be giving y'all a home vlog. I don't really know why I'm titling this a home vlog but basically it's because we staying in the house today girl. We ain't going nowhere. We're not shopping. We're not leaving. We're not doing anything. No fast food girl. Nothing. We're staying in the house. I'm gonna accomplish what I have to accomplish. What I've been meaning to accomplish. And then we're gonna have some nice self-care relaxed time. But girl we jumping a little bit too far into it. Good afternoon. What time is it, babe? It is 1.23. It is 1.23. I've already had a pretty darn busy day already. And it is now time to get the rest of my busyness out of the way. So, girl, I'm sure we can tell my room is a mess. And if I'm being honest, my room has never been this dirty in my year and over a half of living here. Like, when I tell y'all my room has never looked like this. So, I got to go ahead and accomplish that. Get in my room clean. Getting it clean, fresh, smelling good. My bathroom is pretty messy. See, Jordan is gonna help me out and he's gonna do my kitchen. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome, girl. Y'all don't mind my little uh, spot treatments. I had a couple pimples pop up last night. I said, hold on, girl. Boop, boop, boop. So yeah, I'm gonna do like a little home vlog. We're gonna have fun, girl. I wanna talk, I wanna chill, but be productive and then have some pampering time, make some dinner, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not gonna hold y'all no longer. We're gonna go ahead and hop into cleaning. I've been watching cleaning talks, clean talks for the last half an hour trying to get myself motivated because girl, it is so motivating when I see people clean their home, especially when it's like a realistic mess and like a realistic home. Like it's not a $3 million house, minimal mess, just like two crumbs on the counter, but they're really just trying to show all their gold, you know, on the video. I'm just kidding. I'm such a hater. No, I'm joking. But like, I see a lot of videos that I'm like, are you trying to show off your rings in your kitchen? Cause there's no mess. I've made my cleaning list. So girl, I just kind of dab myself up. Yeah. That was so cute. So girl, let's just hop into it because I'm kind of tired and I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. So girl, we gonna start cleaning my room. He's gonna help me. Are you gonna help me in my room? Uh, you need me to help with the room. Probably not. Let's just get it. Let's get it. <laughs> let's let's just it. go. First things first, I need to go ahead and start sorting out my laundry. So we're going to go ahead and get started on my laundry first. Um, but you were saying something? Yeah, with the lights, you just want to like replace these ones you have here or have them like higher or like lower. Replacing them. We're taking these lights out okay. and we're putting the new lights in. Okay, sounds good. I got some new twinkle lights for my room, y'all. So he's going to go ahead and put those up for me. But I am going to wash all my light clothes. I always sort out my clothes from darks to lights. <laughs> Your girl's laundry room is such a vibe. I am literally obsessed, okay? But I found these super cute wash and dry stickers for my washer and dryer on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and put these up on my Amazon storefront. They are so cute. I would not suggest buying those, you guys. They will not be up on my Amazon storefront. And I am getting ready to go ahead and stick these up on my washer and dryer. Okay, so first things first, the dryer. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the dryer sticker on oh my goodness it comes with two wash stickers and two dry stickers okay so i'm trying to put these stickers on they seem a little bit confusing to me okay they're really not i honestly just want your help and i'm just trying to pull you in <laughs> but they're pretty large so if i had to have you hold aside will you do so yeah update jordan did it all <laughs> my nails are making it pretty difficult so jordan um took the sticker off so the border is separate than the actual dry letters. This is kind of hard, you guys. I don't know if I would suggest this to y'all because this is really annoying. <laughs> it is. So, woo, I don't know. I ain't never gonna do this again. Yeah, I don't like how it comes like that. It makes it so difficult. It makes it so difficult. It should have just been one piece. Exactly. This is stupid. No wonder why it was so cheap. No, I'm ticked. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh. This is the dumbest decal. I thought it was going to be so much more simple. I was so excited. This just ruined my entire day. I think it looks crackage. <laughs> we'll be back in a half an hour. Jordan, your patience is immaculate. It is to die for. It really is. But my non-existent patience is telling me to do this. Ow, 
What? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. It's still telling me to do it. Brent, 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 Brent. <laughs> I would not suggest buying those, you guys. They will not be up on my Amazon storefront. I'm just gonna go ahead and put up the dry and then just the wash because, girl, they, they drinking something strong if you think I'm about to go ahead and put that whole decal thing up. It should have been one sticker, one sticker, one circle. That's what I thought it was, just to go ahead and sploop. Oh, they said we want to be like Dollar Tree. All right, see? What's up? They wanted to make it difficult. This is how you use it. Look at, you see those those um, clear sheets? Man, get out of here. I'm not doing all that. They want us to use a card. And then, yeah, I see why it was so difficult. Okay. Either we're dumb or they're just doing too much. Not our teacher. But honestly, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. That was a waste of money and a waste of time. I just thought I was buying some stickers for my dryer and washer. Yo! Jump them! Hey. Jump them! Jump them! So that was an Amazon fail, but I'm hoping this is not an Amazon fail as well. One of these days I need to mop my walls. I'm starting to see how dirty they are. What you taking down them lights? Ooh, I got cobwebs. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. I'm hoping these are not an Amazon fail as well. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and start cleaning and organizing my perfume and body care area. So I bought these display risers. I bought a two pack only because I want to see how they work before I go ahead and buy a lot more because it would be super cute if I had a bunch of these in each cube organizer. So let's freaking see. I'm going to go ahead and set up these display risers for my perfume just to see if it looks more cute and bougie. I feel like I'm doing like a lot more talking than working, but hey, I like to talk. It's way more fun than working. Who wants to work? Screw work. Work is for the meat. Work is for the lazy. <laughs> they got nails up in here. Like I gotta screw this junk in. I gotta screw these in. I'm about to be Bob the Builder, Builder, Builder. What if I just end up procrastinating my bathroom? Is that okay? I just, cool. I don't, I just wanna lay down and eat chips. I'm serious. <laughs> I don't even want chips. That's what you just said? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bob Day Builder. What the freak is it? What the heck? Wait, now I'm confuzzled. Them dang stickers had me lose a dang nail. The heck is going on? I am really Bob the Builder. They think you need this. I say you don't need it. I say you put the screw in and twist it just... Actually, you do need it. My bad. It won't work, did it? Like I said, you don't need it. It ain't doing nothing. It's just stripped of all of its integrity. Girl, I'm so focused on, I don't know what the heck, did I forgot to show y'all my little mess I got going on. When I tell y'all my room is a complete mess, it is a complete mess. He's putting up these lights for me right now. Babe, what's going on with these? Uh, I'm trying to put an extra tack like in the back, like in the middle so I can move it over. So okay. That would be amazing. And then if you have extra space, you can curve them over to behind my vanity. Okay. But girl, the room, my room has never looked like this. I mean, to the point where I have soy sauce next to my bed. My vanity looks absolutely disgusting. This is a mess. I have hair ties. I have like one of my first stains on my carpet over there. It was from a popsicle. And then over here, of course, it looks just like a tragedy. Like it really does. Up here stays very organized. I never really make that messy, but everywhere else is a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and organize all of this. I have both of my display lay risers ready to go ahead and start organizing but before i do so i just heard the washer stop the cycle so let me put in some fabric softener i love this cute little milk carton looking thing i have for the fabric softener girl we in love all right y'all know i use a lot of fabric softener i don't want to hear it i love me some nice good smelling laundry so i'm gonna use what i want if it ain't yours girl don't worry about it. If it ain't your money, don't worry about it. 
if it ain't your life don't worry about it so i don't need to do anything up here because everything is still in place and organized i've been trying to focus mainly on the perfumes down here because they're my least expensive perfumes so of course i can use them up but i'm feeling too bad um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and see what these little display risers can do in here and then we're just gonna move down girl yes i am actually loving this i want to buy so many more it's way cuter it looks way more organized and professional but you have less room for your perfume because it doesn't hold that much perfume so i just put a bunch of my brand new still in the box fragrances on the side and then of course i have all my fragrances this one doesn't stand up because it's the old packaging of idole by lancome so i have to lay that down and then over here yes ma'am it's all so super cute i just lined up a bunch of fragrances on like the little wall area like i said it doesn't hold as many perfumes because if you were to put them like right here it wouldn't be as cute and still on my bed i have so many fragrances i need to go through these fragrances and figure out the ones that i'm gonna go ahead and put aside so I can force myself to empty them I definitely need to empty out these two these are way too old for me to still have I bought those like three years ago yeah obviously this one changed colors a little bit this is like an older lady smell but I like it I don't know I gotta go ahead and finish out those two this one of course is the bomb I just gotta figure out where the heck I'm gonna be able to put it without it looking too bulky and ugly I could take it out of the packaging this one along with the other teas perfumes needs to get emptied out so I have have five perfumes i need to empty out this one right here is from room 21 honestly this will be like a room spray because i know it's not gonna last on my body totally forgot about this arabic perfume oil my mom bought me for my birthday um years back it is so strong it smells so amazing i also forgot about this perfume oil that one of my subscribers monica sent me from new zealand that's my girl y'all i'm gonna use this um jasmine perfume that i got at target jasmine rose for room spray versace lotion of course i'm gonna go ahead and use that i could give this one to jordan because this can or i know that this would mix with his chemistry very well i kind of got his chemistry down packed to where i pick out certain fragrances i know will smell well on him and they always do this one right here not too strong but jordan can use it this is the namat amber perfume jordan can use this one pink sugar not the biggest fan i need to go ahead and empty that out and then i have some perfume oils that i got on etsy alien good girl and then versace bright crystal i need to go ahead and put my perfume oils in a different part of my room because i have been building my perfume oil collection and i have a pretty darn good amount of them okay that one along with the other victoria's sacred fragrances needs to get emptied out i love this coach one it's very beautiful these are my minis i just have those for decoration honestly i'm just gonna put that um mark jacobs decadence perfume right there i used to have three of those but i gave two of them away they're so cute this coach one i can just kind of like fit right there i don't know y'all it's starting to look really cluttery but it has to go somewhere i still haven't opened that so i'm gonna go ahead and put that there i guess i am a little bit concerned only because i do have so many more fragrances that need to fit on here that i don't think they will so i'm gonna have to make room down here where the body sprays are also babe you can use these fragrances oh, shoot. Say less. thank you you're welcome oh yeah and then today i had him wear this cucumber and green tea fragrance it smells so nice on him so i'm gonna give him that and then i'm also gonna give him the matching lotion here baby thank you yeah i'm finna start up my uh my little hygiene collection again you getting me started already yes sir we're so okay. excited yeah i'm finna get back into it so 
Press the like button if y'all want him to make hygiene content, like males hygiene content. Yes. I think that would be so freaking cool. I know quite a bit of stuff that maybe a lot of other dudes don't know. Yes, so, sir. And I learned from the best. Women's products that work for men that men don't know about. Exactly. Shoot, women's perfumes. Right, girl we are getting stuff done i just got done finishing out this um little cube space and it honestly does not look the best but i might still have to make little tweaks and changes to it as i go because i do have some pretty empty cubes at the bottom that i could still put more product in anyways now i am organizing all of my Victoria's Secret fragrances. So I have Bath and Body Works and like a bunch of random body sprays like Hollister body sprays, Coach body spray, Misguided body spray, Sol de Janeiro, girl, all of that. So <laughs> that is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, get this cube done and then I'll show you guys the finished result because I don't want this video to be too long so I don't want to like drag it out and show every single cube because girl we still got more cleaning to do I still have to do some self-care not have to but I want to because I got some new products from Sephora that just literally came out I had to go get those ASAP y'all this thing Mrs. Meyers lemon verbena scented um, multi-purpose cleaner smells amazing I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Aveda products they sell them like in salons but girl this literally smells exactly like Aveda products my mom and I love Aveda products so I have to get her one of these spray bottles so yeah I want to do some self-care and then I'm gonna go ahead and cook some dinner up and then go to bed because I got work in the morning okay girl oh this is going by fast okay girl we like that <laughs> he get my cobwebs y'all we love a cordless vacuum i already know a lot of people are going to heavily disagree with what i'm getting ready to say but i cannot be the only person i say that a lot i cannot be the only person i'm gonna get a shirt that says that i cannot be the only one that is starting to notice that mental health is kind of becoming an excuse for a lot of people like it's kind of becoming an excuse for a lot of people just to be jerks and just be overall bad people but they can blame it on mental health and everything's okay now I'm not saying that's everyone but I have been noticing that a lot um even people that I know personally that just literally treat people so bad and do people so wrong but since they have mental health issues like it's okay and I just I just don't agree with that like I personally just don't agree with that and um as a Christian and knowing that these demons they work through the mind that would kind of explain why mental health is so like it's such a big thing right now do you know what I mean like not for everybody but I know a lot of people believe that they're dealing with like mental health issues when it's really demons trying to torment them and prevent them from being all that they could possibly be demons work through the mind so it would definitely make sense why you know it's mental health because listening to the lies of the enemy will have you with an unhealthy mind i mean there's so many factors that go into it but i think you guys are kind of getting what i'm saying it's just kind of getting sucky to where everything is blamed on mental health the fact that there was a mass in MSU and I blocked out that word because I don't know what I'm honestly allowed to say on YouTube nowadays um in MSU but it's blamed on mental health I don't want to hear that mental health stuff when you just went in there and did that to innocent children that are working for their future I don't want to hear that I'm sorry but I don't you're 40 something years old and you made it that long without doing something like that hmm the people that are saying that come on now then be the same people that do whatever they want and blame it on mental health i'm sorry no you allowed something demonic to enter your body and you went and did that to innocent children i don't care i'm sorry but no i'm not playing down what people go through but the ones that get it you get it that i'm talking about the ones that 
Just use it as an excuse. Dude, it's like my room is getting worse by the minute. What the heck is happening? And this is the final result. I still have so much more space left at the bottom. I put all the fragrances down there that I need to go ahead and finish out. I also put that brand new Versace perfume because I can't really find anywhere else to put it. Um, I most likely will have to use up some of this space today when I find more products around my room or my bathroom and I don't have space for them. So these two will get used up. This just made my room look 10 times better. Y'all know my product junkie. Dang, I just put words together. Y'all know I'm a product junkie and I am literally obsessed. If I could have a room with like 25 of these jam-packed, girl, I would. And I will. Matter of fact, yes, I will. I'm going to have a complete room one day full of hygiene products, perfume, girl, everything. A complete room. Okay. Everything is looking amazing. Down here, I have like deodorants and like skincare, kind of random. Over here, I have some body care, like some lotions and body oils. I still have some perfumes back here. I also plan on writing new affirmations today on here. I just bought some chalk markers. So far I have I'm strong, I'm loved, love you. I don't know, it kind of sound, it kind of looks like love you. Um, I am blessed, my dreams will come true, I am attractive. And so I really do believe in writing things for yourself. Even if it's just in your phone or even if it's in a notebook, whatever the heck, write things down. And yes, I do have pants on, they're just shorts. Hi. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... What the freak? That looks amazing. I love you. Thank you so much. Doesn't it look so much you. freaking better? It looks really nice. Ah! Seriously. I love that. Let me turn my LED lights on. Oh my gosh. I am so obsessed. I like the blue, like the super bright blue. Mm. This is going to look so good. Matter of fact, let me close my windows real fast. Yeah, that's super cute. I really, really, I don't know why I'm showing the camera over there. Like there's something going on. <laughs> <gasps> Babe, it's gorgeous. Oh gosh, it is. <coughs> Whoa. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. For real. I don't like that one. I kind of like this. The twinkling. Are you going to let me clean my room? <laughs> Yeah. I really hate cleaning. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's get it. <laughs>
Yes, ma'am. So far, so good. I have truly enjoyed cleaning my room today. It was so weird. But it was because Jordan and I truly vibed out. We put on some old school jams and we just like danced and had fun. And I am just so proud of how everything looks over here. Ah, that looks so luxury and cute. Y'all know I love my perfumes. But yeah, everything is looking very good. My room is starting to smell so amazing just from this little candle. I have my vision board for 2023 in my vanity through the glass so I can always see what I want to accomplish this year and so I can have that for motivation. But I gotta get started on this bathroom. It is a wreck. But it is such an amazing feeling to look at like your goal list or your um, vision board to see what you have accomplished or what you have started or what you want to start working on next it is so amazing it is so important to have dreams having dreams are very important having a dream is very important having goals are very important they motivate us they give us energy they give us a purpose to wake up every single morning dreams are very 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 important so I encourage you whatever your passion is or whatever your dream is tap in and get ready to see it come true because through Jesus Christ all things are possible and he wants to see you win in this lifetime folks don't understand that Jesus only has our best interest he only wants what is best for us he ain't saying things just to be mean he's saying things to protect us he knows what our bodies are made for he knows that our bodies are a holy temple a temple for the Holy Spirit but what the enemy does is he works overtime to make everybody think to have everybody believing that Jesus is just trying to deprive them of something that they should have and enjoy when he's just trying to protect us that's it. He knows what leads to destruction. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, girl, this is what the bathroom is looking like. I got coffee, girl. I got this little powder mask. I need to go ahead and put this on today. It's like a brightening face mask. Girl, I just got too much going on up in here. Like, since when has my trash ever looked like this? Like, what's going on? The shower isn't too bad. I try to keep up with my shower very well. So that definitely ain't bad, but um... It ain't no reason why my trash and my sink should look like this. This ain't, this ain't gonna work, so let's get into it.
Girl, oh my gosh, I am feeling amazing. You know when you gain that motivation because you're starting to see the results. Girl, yes, I have had three nails pop off. Pretty common while cleaning, honestly, with press-on nails, especially since I don't buff them anymore. But girl, everything is looking fresh, smelling good. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all no products I've ever used to clean my home top Mrs. Meyers products, girl, they are extremely strong. I'm getting a little sweaty i cannot wait to wash my face and get my butt up in this bathtub but yes we got the bathroom all done yes ma'am we are still doing laundry i need to go ahead and get started on washing my pillowcases um my room is all straightened up he's doing dishes right now <laughs> it's a mess oh my gosh out here is like stressing me out so let me get started all i need to do is vacuum i need to go ahead and light a candle i'm just gonna go ahead and spray my couch i'm gonna vacuum this rug real fast put those bags away i honestly should do some mopping um, but we'll see. So yeah, girl, let's get started. Actually, real fast, do not mind this little setup area in my living room. When I tell y'all, I cannot stand this, but Jordan loves this little area because of course it's his area. It just looks like, oh my gosh, we need so much more space, y'all. This ain't gonna work. What is happening right now? But I really do need to ease up a little bit when it comes down to stuff like this and just let him live. Don't mind the nails, girl, but this spray is unbelievable. When I tell y'all this stuff smells divine and it is so strong, this is crazy. Girl, my rug looks so good. These fluffy rugs look amazing when you vacuum them. Everything looks amazing. I vacuumed all my floors and I decided not to mop because I don't have that much time. And Jordan is just now getting home. He had to drop my brother off at practice. Sir. And he did not finish my kitchen. He's getting it done though, y'all. The dishes are getting done. The stove is just not clean. Doesn't it smell amazing? It does. I was actually just about to say that. Dude, say, it good. I mean, this freaking spray. Don't you step on my rug. I want to keep it as nice as long as possible. You know when you clean and you just do not want your home to be lived in at all? I don't want you touching a wall, even though I didn't clean the walls. So let's go. You can let the puppies out. Mm -hmm. I like to put them up when I'm cleaning. I was really feeling my eyebrows and lashes this day, so here's some appreciation. Okay, girl, so I got my headband and my shower cap on so my hair doesn't get frizzy. I also have my vitamin C mask on. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got 
from Sephora. I could not talk there. Golly. I'm gonna get my chlorophyll water made. Yes, ma'am. And we are going to get in a warm, bubbly bath. So I seen that these new Tatcha body care products just came out. I don't think Tatcha has ever had body care. If I'm talking loud, I'm so sorry. I got these things over my ears. So I'm thinking I ain't, I ain't really talking that loud. But yeah, I seen that Tatcha came out with body care and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. I seen um, that it was in stock near me and girl, I rushed over there and got me some product. I also got one other thing I've wanted for a while. So girl, let's get into it. First things first, we have here the Tatcha Forest Awakening Hinoki, 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 Hinoki body wash. Oh my gosh, girl, I am so excited. And girl, the packaging is so cute. Girl, y'all know I love me some new products, okay? Especially when they're aesthetic. Like, look at the packaging. Yes, ma'am, we love it. So yeah, girl, I got the Hinokai or Hinokai. I'm not really sure. Let me just stop trying to say it. I got the body wash. I got the body milk. All the boxes look the same. I don't even know why I'm showing them. Oh, girl, this is the heaviest box of them all. It's also the tallest box of them. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my gosh. First of all, this is so heavy. It's glass. That's wood. The fact that it's wood is the cutest thing ever. Like, Oh my gosh, girl, we love it. Is that packaging not the dopest packaging ever? And they have the cutest little pump to be able to pump out the lotion. Girl, we love it. I really love the fact that it has like a wooden cap and I love that it's glass and that it's so heavy. Like I was like, maybe they're over like charging for these products, but honestly they're not. And my purchase supports education equality. We love that. Oh my gosh, yes. But y'all know I couldn't just stop there. Y'all know I had to get the whole entire line. Y'all also know that I'm on Accutane. So my skin is really dry. So this is like perfect timing that they came out with a body oil. So yeah, all the boxes look the same. Yes, we love the wooden caps. Like what is happening? I love the glass packaging and the wooden caps. And I love that it is giving like forest vibes. It's giving like spa day forest kind of vibes like like having a shower in like the middle of the forest and hearing like all the rain sounds and all the chirping girl this is what it is giving oh my gosh I'm so excited to try these products girl like what just happened so I got the complete Tatcha body care line and then I've wanted this for a very long time so I just went ahead and purchased it it is the necessary shower gel and the scent eucalyptus Girl, I love me some eucalyptus. Y'all know I love me some eucalyptus. And this um, bottle is just so aesthetic or aesthetically pleasing. Girl, I don't know. I just go with the words that, you know, come out every day. I think we all know about this necessary body wash because it's so aesthetic and like everybody raves about this. I'm super excited, girl. I'm not going to try this today, but I will try it on an upcoming video. This is going to match my shower so well. I really want to try out the sandalwood one as well. Okay, now that I have shown you guys all of my new products, let's make this water, this chlorophyll water, and run this bad girl. I'm so excited. Yo. Yes, ma'am. So your girl is in the bathtub, chillaxing, feeling good. I got my nice hot water going. My neck is starting to hurt, so I'm so ready to lay my butt down. All I need to do now is, of course, get my hygiene on and then get dressed, cook some dinner, and I'm out of here. I need to make some lemon water, too. I go over my schedule a million times in my head a day. That is why I do it to y'all. Like, I will literally go over what I'm supposed to do a million times because it's something that I do to myself. It's so annoying, but 
Y'all know I said, hold on. These glass straws are so cute. I feel like I live off of Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and put these glass straws up on my Amazon storefront. I'll put the lights up on my Amazon storefront. Not those stickers. I'll put the perfume organizers up. And I believe that's all I had Amazon wise in today's video. But anyway, I just thought it would be perfect if I just kind of knocked my haul out of the way while I'm in the bathtub. I mean, I have nothing else to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I bought from the beauty supply store as well as what I got off of Amazon. I kind of want to go for Amazon first because I really do not know what is in these Amazon packages. So let's do it. Package number one. Okay, this is weird doing a haul in the bathtub. But you know what? I'm weird. I'm, I'll own it. I'm weird. First things first, I do know what this is. This is one of my top favorite feminine hygiene products. I have it on my Amazon storefront already. Oh, I love the new packaging. This is the Elevated Lavender Muffin Mist. Girl, I love this stuff so much. If you want to know how I use this, go ahead and check out my period video because I not only explain how I use it on my period, but also that I use it off of my period. And I love the glass bottle. It is something about glass bottles and me. We get along. Like, we heavily get long so these are actually just the glass straws that i bought i already told y'all these will be on my amazon storefront but it's just the pack of glass straws that i bought oh ain't nothing in there anyways on to the beauty supply oh my gosh i totally forgot that i bought these i love having noise around my wrist so i went ahead and just bought these dollar bangles i love these bangles from the beauty supply store they do change colors of course you don't want to get them wet you want to try to avoid that at all costs but i just got some cute little bangles and coincidentally those are called the chloe bangles i got me some talia wajid tight hold this is like a i don't want to say a custard it's like a gel cream cream it's weird but it does hold your hair that's the packaging i put some jam on top of this which i completely forgot to grab because i've already been using it every single day but i use this orange jam it's the shining jam i like the yellow one too but the orange one holds better i also bought some do grow because my mom always used do grow triple strength hair lotion on my hair growing up and when i tell y'all my hair was so long that was like the first thing every adult and kid said to me growing up was like oh my gosh your hair is so long so i went ahead and got some more of that because my mom always used pink lotion do grow grow grease like all of that if you want to know where to get the hair perfumes you gonna get hooked up at the beauty supply store so first of all i learned about these a couple years back these are honestly some of my favorite hair perfumes i only bought one because i have so many it's in the scent love and musk but this is a hair conditioning perfume the difference between the hair conditioning perfume and the regular hair perfumes is this is an oil so if your hair is straight you can spray this in your hair and it's not gonna make your hair frizzy or curly or back to wavy and i love the love and musk one because it smells like white musk and then i went ahead and i picked up some other hair perfume so i got a vanilla and coconut hair perfume i got a egyptian musk hair perfume musk blanc body and hair perfume they're all body and hair but i use them for my hair and last but not least i picked up the baby powder y'all already know i am literally addicted and obsessed with baby powder i don't think i'll ever get over baby powder then i got a black castor oil but it's in the scent lavender so i guess the beauty supply store carries scented black castor oil which is the best i also bought a peppermint one but it's like a spray one it's over there with my hair care products i should have put it back in the bag but yeah i bought two black castor oils i got a lavender one and a peppermint one when i tell y'all i never thought it was possible to use black castor oil without it smelling like cigarettes because black castor oil smells like cigarettes smoke ashes i don't even know it smells disgusting i cannot see it but it works and it's good this smells like straight up lavender like i would use this in my hair every single day never thought i would be saying that about black castor oil i got this myel pre-shampoo treatment why do i keep messing with my neck i'm so dang pale if i rub my skin one time it'll be red but anyway i also picked up this talia wajid curly curl cream when i tell y'all this is the bomb so when i go to slick my hair i use the jam but first i put down this curly curl cream i don't really know why they call this curl cream because to me it's like a really 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 tacky glue kind of consistency like it's really thick it's really tacky it goes nowhere it is so thick it's crazy and this slicks my hair down so amazing but i have been sitting in the bathtub for a good amount of time so now that y'all seen everything i got i'm trying to get back into my hair here um let's start my hygiene 